Hey everybody, this is Hannah from Stonehouse Photo. I thought I'd do a couple things uh, leading up to my new ebook coming out, and I wanted to talk about some of my sessions and how I shoot. Um, I post a lot of stuff on Facebook, and I'm not the best about explaining how I got a shot. I try to remember, but I don't always think of putting it on there. Um, so I thought I'd go through a bunch of my photos, talk about how I, I did them. I am primarily a Canon shooter. I use about four lenses really religiously. Um, my biggest pet lens is my 24 to 70 2.8. Uh, it lets me get really wide and it's great for snout shots. I talk about that a lot actually. I also use 70 to 200 the 2.8 IS. That is less of a pet one and more of my editorial stuff especially with families. I use my 35 millimeter 1.4 a lot. Uh, that's another one if I'm doing editorial stuff uh, and I, I want to be wide but not too wide. The problem using a 35 when you're doing pet stuff is you have to move around a lot uh, and the 24 to 70 is better from a wide angle perspective because you can get the dog coming up real close to you but you can also zoom into um, whatever the dog is interacting with or the animal is interacting with so it gives you a variety of shots without you having to move a whole lot which can be really helpful so uh, oh and the last lens I use is a 51.2 I use that uh, more for portrait stuff and for dogs that don't move very fast if I want to get some nice portraiture shots especially of older dogs uh, because I know they're not going to move a whole, whole lot so I don't have to worry about being closer up. So I'm going to go through a bunch of my photos talk about how I got them uh, some of them have stories to them that kind of thing. So the first one we have now is one of my from one of my favorite rescues of course Catkins Animal Rescue Inc. This was taken with a 24 to 70 and as you can see when I do photos with a 24 to 70 I can really get them interacting and um, sniffing the lens. This is a dog that I believe has been adopted um, but had a ton of energy and I really wanted to show her um, interacting with the camera and her real personality. When I do shelter shoots I want to show the animals how they are and how much energy they do or do not have because it gets the right home for them and I'll talk about that in a later session but that's a big deal for me so this is the 24 to 70 you can tell she's really into the lens now this is flora Flora is about 13 or 14 uh, and this is her favorite couch in the whole world. This was shot actually with my 35 millimeter um, 1.4 and I think I shot this at about 1.8 so it's um, no flash inside and showing her in her true environment and that's one of the things she's an older dog so using a prime lens a fixed length lens uh, is a lot easier with an older dog who doesn't move around a whole lot because when you're shooting with a prime lens you tend to um, have to move your own body um, and that that you know with a faster moving dog can be kind of a pain with a slow old dog sitting regally on her couch I didn't have to worry about that so I saw her on the couch got this shot and I was I've been in love with it since I saw it so this is Flora being her old self and I love old dogs she's she's very sweet uh, this is from a session a few months ago down in Janesville and I talk about getting on the ground with animals to show a new perspective and show how they really are and I cannot stress enough do this don't be afraid to get down and dirty get muddy you show them at their best. You show them like this one in love with their ball, chewing on it, happy, content, not looking up at you with their nose, but instead really interacting with their environment. And this is a 24 to 70 lens. So one of the cool things is I got pretty wide with it. I think this is at about 30 millimeters. 
Um, so it's pretty wide. So it shows the environment around her, um, but it also, you know, shows her face really up close. Sorry, excuse me, he um, didn't mean to insult the dog. So, <laughs> and on to the next. This is Glenda. This is another dog from Catkins Animal Rescue. And this is also shot with my 24 to 70. Um, she was running around like a chicken, having a whole lot of fun. Um, and, you know, really needed to be captured moving around um, because the right owner needed to happen for her, which she was adopted, by the way, to a very loving family. Um, but she was also in love with the new shelter manager. So one of the cool things I was able to do was get her her snout really close in a couple other shots, but also show her interaction with the shelter manager. She loved humans, wanted to be petted and, and kissed. And you know, that's what happened. Now this is Riley. Riley is um, one of the rescues from Racy's uh, Dog Treats Jim's team. And this is with my 24 to 70. And I got to get up real close to Riley. Riley's a sweetheart. Um, but you can tell he's wondering what the clicking noise is. What the heck that noise is on my camera. You can tell he's staring me down and wants to know what the noise is and when we're going to keep going. Uh, so this is probably at about 3-5 aperture wise. And you know, it's showing the environment, but it's not too crisp in the background. That's why I like, um, that's why I like fast lenses because you can add a nice, you can really isolate the subject and blur out the background. And if you're new to this and you want to know how that effect is done, that's with fast lenses that have low aperture numbers. Um, so what's in front of you is really in focus and what's behind you is really blurry. Um, makes the subject really stand out. Ah, this is Spezza. This is from another rescue team based in Missouri. This is actually with my 70 to 200 meter, uh, 2.8 L. And the 2.8 is the lowest aperture number it'll go down to. And that's what I talk about with a fast lens. Uh, so Spezza is running right to me and I am actually laying on the ground for this one. Um, so I'm shooting right at Spezza's level and getting her really in in motion. And you can tell is really happy. <laughs> Definitely a happy dog. And this is a 24 to 70 shot. This is from Home for Life Animal Sanctuary in Minnesota. And this is another dog that was running really fast and wanted to get some fun, cool shots. Um, so I actually set my focus point which you can do on most DSLRs. Um, this was my 5D Mark III. Um, you can set your um, focus point basically wherever you want. And mine is down here. Um, you can tell that one in the first photo that we have and this one. Um, so as they're running around, I get a nice rule of thirds thing. So it's down here. It's not right in the middle. It's, it's here. It creates visual interest and it really shows the personality of the dog, which is a little nuts, which is why we like this dog. It's kind of fun. Ah, uh, yes. And this is one of my favorite pit bull shots ever. Uh, he was adopted shortly after this. So he's very happy. He's having lots of fun. Well taken care of at Dane County. Um, but this was my 24 to 70. And it was shot, I think, at like a two thousandth of a second because it's very, very fast. And I wanted to show him running towards me and having fun. Again, I am laying on the ground. Uh, he did rush me and then go over to the side. I I spend a lot of time reminding myself as dogs are running towards me not to move because they're going to go past you and probably not run you over. Uh, and if you move, that's when bad things happen. Uh, thankfully, I haven't been injured um, when I did move, but I've learned to just stay still. They'll actually go around you. <laughs> this is Max. This is Max. This is shot with my 24 to 70 again. You can tell I do a lot of my snout shots here. This is at a really, really, really high shutter speed. Um, and this was shot at 3.5 for aperture. So it created a situation where I could have a really high shutter speed because I wanted to get the snow flying off of Max and that's what we did.
and he's very happy husky. This is, I call in the bircher, birches. I know a lot of people have seen this shot. It's one of my favorites I've ever taken. Um, but this is actually shot with my 70 to 200. We were in the woods having fun. I was shooting this for a grouse hunting book. And I was shooting and realized that you could see why this dog was bred the way he was. Um, showing basically birch camo and this this was a lot of fun shot this is actually shot at 70 millimeters so at the widest point that you could for the 70 to 200 but I wanted to see show the relationship um, between the birch trees and the dog so I really love how this one turned out and that is it I hope you enjoyed um, Again, if you have any questions, always email me. It might take me a little bit to get back to people. Uh, just my email tends to fill up with crazy fun. Uh, but please feel free to get a hold of me. Ask me questions. I'm an open book. Um, I just want everybody to be able to take good, fun photos of their pets and be able to really capture memories. So thanks a lot, and hope you enjoyed.